What's going on guys? How's everything going? My name is Shadowfist and welcome back to another manga haul video for the month of October 2021. Man, it's been a while since I made a haul video. Um, I know September I did skip just because I was not a fan or a quality of the content that I produced for that video and I didn't want to upload it to the channel um, just because I had to upload a video. I wanted to make sure that the content was good and the video was good and i was satisfied with the video and i don't want to give you guys some trash video that i did not like so um that's why i guess october is going to be a bigger haul video which i guess could be a good thing for you guys because i know you guys like seeing what i picked up and uh seeing what i did get for the month or at least for two months now so um and what also brings in october we do have halloween so i'm definitely this haul video is going to actually be a little more sort of spooky a little more horror oriented uh with my pickups so Definitely stay tuned, watch the video, and um, sit back, relax for the sort of kind of like Halloween, the Halloween theme, sorry, um, haul video for this month. Okay, so starting off this haul video, I will get into the Halloween stuff in just just a moment or the sort of horror genre stuff. Uh, but first off, we do have Furari by Jiro Tanaguchi. Um, this is another piece of manga to add to the collection of Tanaguchi for myself. Really interesting stuff here, very similar to the stuff that I picked up. Now this volume along with the rest of the Tanaguchi volumes that I did have, or sorry, did pick up, my bad. Um, it was all supposed to come in that big huge haul video that I did in August, but unfortunately it didn't come till September. And of course, September, I didn't upload a haul video. So now you guys are finally seeing the volumes itself. So besides Ferrari, I also do have A Distant Neighborhood by Jiro Tanaguchi. Uh, so really nice here, this one is still sealed. Definitely one of his more well-known works. It is done by Fanfare Ponyan Mon, which is, you know, I'm assuming more of like an English kind of publisher. Um, not definitely somewhere in North America, but other than that, that is this volume here. There's the side there, a distant neighborhood. And we do have the back cover as well, which is always very, very nice there. So really cool to see that. Uh, definitely something um, to, you know, add to the collection when it comes to Tanaguchi works. Uh, the next thing I did also pick up for Tanaguchi was a zoo in the winter another one of his more well-known works um, when it comes to his collection and definitely you know I, I really can't complain i think the art from tanaguchi is awesome i've only read one of his works so far um, from what i've picked up and i've loved every single bit of it um, so let me know if you read more tanaguchi in the comments below and the last thing i picked up from him was a bigger volume which i actually don't know if it's even a manga itself it could be our book but this is Guardians of the Louvre, which is done by MBM Graphic Novels. This is the Louvre edition, which I have no clue what that means, but um, I guess it has to do based on this title here. Um, but a but, uh, really cool volume here. It's a lot more bigger than the standard Tanaguchi volumes that I do have, um, but nonetheless, the art is fantastic. The spine, nothing really too major there. And then the back of the volume gives you the synopsis as well as sort of the image kind of going from the back, from the front to the back. So. Really nice there. That is the Tanaguchi stuff that I picked up. Let's get on to the monthly releases. Okay, so the next stuff that I picked up for monthly releases, we have Hikahiro after being shaved, after being rejected, sorry, I shaved and took in a high school runaway. This is volume one here. Um, this is done by One Piece Books. Uh, this is the newer series. Um, the anime just aired, I believe, last uh, spring or last winter. Something around that, those lines in 2021, but uh, really good series in my opinion. I think it's a, a probably one of the better takes when it comes to sort of like these types of genres of series. Uh, it's actually pretty real, not real, but in a sense, but it's kind of wholesome and it kind of shows some maturity of the main character, which I forget his name in the series, but this is done originally by Shim, uh, stories by Shim Mesaba uh, and the manga is by Imado Adaichi, which this, of course, this is of course the manga form. It does also have a light novel, which is what it's originally based off of, but other than that, um, there is four volumes to the manga and because I enjoyed the anime, I wanted to pick up the manga volume and see how that was. Maybe it's different, maybe it's not, I'm not sure, but like I said, I did enjoy the anime when watching it. Um, the next thing I did pick up this month is Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro Volume 8 here by Nanashi. Um, Miss Nagatoro is definitely a fun series. If you're looking for a very sort of funny series with some slight hits of romance, um, as well as just some 
overall pretty decent storytelling uh, and some pretty decent characters uh definitely check out nagatoro uh there is an anime for this and it did have some pretty good uh, feedback at least um when it comes to the first season so um if you can get your hands on this volume or the volumes in general or even watch the anime before you check out the manga definitely i recommend doing so it does it is more of like a gag manga but as it progresses you will see how the story will unfold and i believe it's still ongoing so nice to have that there i definitely do enjoy the series myself um, the next thing I did have is the continuation of A School Frozen in Time, Volume 3. This is by the um, one of the, the same creator who did uh, Your Lie in April. He does the art in the series. There is one more volume, which I believe does come out next month in November. So whenever I get that, I will start uh, reading the series from Volumes 1 onwards to Volumes 4. But yeah, pretty cool there. Um, they actually, I think Amazon actually forgot to send me this volume. So they ended up actually just sending me the volume for free after. So because, well, not for free because I paid for it, but... Um, they ended up sending me the volume um, after because they, I guess, obviously the there was something wrong with shipment. So that's that. That's a school frozen in time. The next thing I did pick up was a release by Osamu Tezuka, and that is the record of the class castle. And you know, this is pretty much your typical, you know, one of your Tezuka works that are one of the works that I'm trying to pick up at least when it comes to my Tezuka collection. And just something to have. Honestly, I don't know how good it is. I wanted to pick it up just to, you know, obviously support the industry, but also to check out some other Tezuka work that I have never read before. Um, I am missing also Melody of Iron, which unfortunately was never sent to me because I ordered it and I never got it. So hopefully if I can pick that up one day, I definitely will do so to add to the Tezuka collection. So that is that. Uh, moving on to some Naoki Urasawa manga, we have Asadora Volume 3. Now, very similar to what I unboxed, or the same manga, sorry, that I unboxed uh, the Monster Volumes recently on my channel. Um, so if you didn't check that video, definitely go do so. But uh, Asadora is a really good series by him. I think it's more lighthearted, yet still has some suspense and thriller aspects uh, when it comes to his works. So really cool there. Um, I definitely think Asadora is a fun read and definitely should be checked out by everybody and everyone. Um, so that's volume three. I do also have volume four as well. Very similar color scheme with the pink and yellow, except, sorry, it has pink and not blue, um, but very cool series. And I definitely do recommend you guys check this one out. Uh, it's awesome and it's fun. The next thing I have is one of the more popular shonens as well. Um, is Chainsaw Man Volume 7 as one of the newer monthly releases. This is obviously by Tatsuki Fujimoto and we're almost nearing the end of the English releases for Chainsaw Man. I am still missing Volumes 2 and 4 which are really out of print or out of stock right now and hopefully I will get my hands on them soon but Chainsaw Man I believe ends in Volume 10 or Volume 11 so whenever I get my hands on those um, or you know, eventually later next year I definitely will be showcasing them to you guys. Uh, the next thing I do have um, when talking about popular shonens, uh, we do have My Hero Academia Volume 1 here. Now, you may be wondering why this looks different than the original Volume 1. Well, that's because uh, this is like a variant, a variant edition for this volume. Uh, I did end up seeing this on eBay and I'm like, um, well, it looks pretty interesting. Obviously, it's a variant. It does have like sort of like a more mature Deku here uh, with obviously the gang in the background, but uh, really cool there. It is pretty much the same thing as Volume 1. Nothing really different. Uh, from the from the original volume at least just of course a different cover than the original so really nice there i definitely i am caught up with my hero academia it's a fun series and i definitely will probably pick up the manga when i get a chance to do so um the next stuff i picked up is actually by from all from the same creator now um, before i get into a lot of the horror stuff and that is from taita kubo himself we have bleach official character book number two called masked um, now, this is a really cool character book. Uh, definitely talks a lot about the characters from the Aronkar and Waco Mundo side of Bleach. I believe it does say the back here from volumes at 21 to 37. So, really cool there. Of course, we have Shinji on the front. Uh, definitely looking badass for, I believe he's a visor, right? So, um, or he may be in this sort of a Shinigami or his Soul Reaper outfit here. But uh, really cool there. It does have a poster here, which you guys can see right there. I'm not going to take it out, but... Like I said, it's just pretty much a character book during that time of the series. There is the first character book, which I haven't picked up yet. Um, number, I think number one called Souls, I believe. So whenever I get that one, um, I will definitely showcase it to you guys. And if you want to see a more in-depth video on this art book, or sorry, this character book, definitely let me know in the comments below. But along with Taita Kubo, I also did pick up his, or the Bleach official bootleg. 
the color bleach plus whatever this thing is called honestly I, I just like the volume cover looks really really cool and opening it up we do have um, some interesting kind of panels scenes uh, more manga from the cast of bleach uh, as well as i believe in the end here you do have some more character stuff more information about the series about the characters etc right so really cool to have here nothing too important but if you're a bleach fan like myself you're definitely going to want to have this in the collection um and the last thing i did pick up for bleach um, before i show you the last thing from kubo is his art book all color but black really nice here to have um, in the collection of course this is just an art book i don't really pick up too many art books but when it comes to kubo i think his art is like amazing i think he has some of the best design of his characters even ichigo here in this kind of really sick outfit is just really cool to me i mean i'll show you guys some of the panels here but as you can see you know we have ichigo the gang we have young ichigo um just a bunch of cool characters here i mean even this like is the pretty much the cover of or the, the cover yeah the cover of the first box set so really cool there i'm unfortunate that i sold my bleach volume just because i needed some money at the time but i definitely want to get more bleach stuff and this is definitely a good start for me uh especially being with some of the spin-offs um from the series and last but not least i do have a newer release from kubo which is probably the more anticipated release for myself for the end of the year and that is burn the witch volume one don't judge a book by its cover now of course burn the witch is a new series and it pretty much has to do with it's kind of like magic kind of sorcery but still kind of takes pl takes place sorry in the bleach kind of world when it, and, you know i believe this side of bleach or this side of the series takes place in the western side of the bleach world if that makes sense i don't know but other than that it's a really cool series it does come in a slip cover uh, which i heard isn't the greatest um just from some of, some of the people who have actually opened up this volume i will open the open up the volume one day and i may do it on camera i'm not too sure but other than that it's really really cool here we do have wing bind which is sort of like the academy that the characters go to um and this does also include a full color poster which you guys can see right there but that is that for the monthly releases let's get into some of the horror stuff before i end off the video all right so looking at the rest of the stuff that i have this month i actually forgot to show some stuff before i get quickly into the horror manga um first off i have azu manga Dayo, um the omnibus from yen press this is by kiyohiko azuma um the mangaka of this series this is the omnibus like i said i've been trying to pick up azuma manga Dayo. i've heard a lot of people like it like it um there obviously is an anime for this uh, it's an older series but um it's nice slice of life light-hearted with some comedy in there uh very very fun series and i did end up watching the anime i did like it so i decided to pick up the manga it was out of stock for a long time and i believe this was actually out of print for a long time um if i'm not mistaken but uh really nice to have also manga dial definitely a staple like i said it's only an omnibus so you can't really go wrong with some of the you know just having the series in a complete little one book uh sort of fits all in a sense but really nice to have also manga dial there um, next up, I have a series that I haven't shown too much of. I'm, I'm not sure if I showed it in my August haul video, but one of actually my favorite artists, which I do have some other work from him just right now. It's kind of a lot of his work's more mature. Um, and that is Shintaro Kago's um, Pretty Girls Collection. Now, if you guys don't know who Shintaro Kago is, he is a bizarre, in a sense, manga artist. As you can tell, he takes sort of images like this or takes like people like this that he draws um, and kind of does crazy things with um, the actual uh, characters himself. Now, this, this one of this book is the Super Dimensional Love Gun. I don't know much about it, but because I do love and like Shintaro Kago's artwork, um, I this was definitely a stable to pick up. This one is done by Dempa, uh, which is, you know, not someone or not a publisher I have too much in my collection, but... Nonetheless, the quality is good. It kind of has this matte finish to the volume, so it is uh, an interesting pickup. Nonetheless, it is a mature read, so definitely, um, if you are a younger audience, definitely be wary of some of the content in this volume and a lot of the content from his works uh, as well. So I'm not going to show too much in here, but definitely Shintaro Kago is really, really cool. And speaking of a very uh, mature heavy or mature content heavy, uh, a series that actually has been recommended to me from one of my friends, uh, one of my good friends that's, that's, uh, um, that I've you know known to like anime and manga for a long time. And he said, read this just because it's crazy series. It's literally very messed up. And honestly, I can't even show you the cover just because it, my video could get flagged just because of the, some of the nudity and mature scenes. 
we do have Metamorphosis by Shindo L. Now, this is a release by Faku Books, which I don't have anything of. I believe this is pretty much like a hentai or some sort of like hentai in a manga format. Um, if you guys know anything about that, but this series specifically is not only been recommended to me from one of my, my good friends of mine but he also did say to me that be wary and other people on youtube have said the same thing be wary of the series this series could be crazy and i was interested in checking it out and i did end up actually getting this off of right stuff even though i never ordered from right stuff i ordered this as well as the shintaro kago's pretty girl collection volume here which um i don't know i wanted to give right stuff a try for of course i'm from canada and i can't show you the back cover just because it is explicit but the front of course i did cover it up here with a little sticky notes um but yeah metamorphosis seems like an interesting read i did hear a lot of crazy things about the series so let me know if you read it in the comments below um it looks interesting obviously there is some nudity but it looks like a messed up series nonetheless um next up i have some inyo sano work more inyo sano work to add to the collection a lot of people love inyo sano and I definitely am interested to get into more works from him. The first thing I have is Solonin, uh, definitely one of his well-known works and one of the, his better works too, besides one of his besides one of his other bigger name series, which I'll get into in just a moment. But Solonin seems interesting. It's a, sort of like an all-in-one book release here by Viz. Uh, a lot of people have this volume and I'm definitely probably gonna read this before I get into to, uh, his other series, which you will see in just a moment um, as I am collecting that one. So. The next series that is famous by Inyo Sano that I picked up is Good Night Pun Pun Volume 4. Uh, I picked up Volume 4, 3, and 2, or 2 to 4 at least. Uh, definitely adding to my collection here. We have Volume 4 and sort of green kind of cover. Uh, seems interesting from the creator of Solon and, and What a Wonderful World, which I definitely will pick up soon. Uh, these are the reprints that Viz has been doing for Good Night Pun Pun. That is Volume 4 here is volume three um seems interesting i've been trying to pick up Pun Pun for a long time now and unfortunately it went out of stock um during the sort of pandemic or during the times that uh, a lot of things weren't being in print currently and which are still not in print but i will pick up the rest of the volumes i believe five six and seven being the final volume this is volume two here so i do currently have volume one in the collection so now i'll have volumes one to four and uh that's really cool there that is Inyo Asano and finally we'll get right into the horror stuff uh in just a moment okay so to end it off um for the rest of the video uh for the Halloween theme sort of manga haul that I'm finally getting towards uh I picked up um pretty much a lot of works from one mangaka you know probably the most famous mangaka when it comes to horror genre in um you know in you know manga in general but uh, first thing I do have here is Junji Ito's No Longer Human. Now, if you guys don't know, this series is the, based on the original novel by Osamu Dazai, which I also have the Usumata Furuya version of No Longer Human. So I still haven't checked that out, but it's nice to have the interpretation of Ito's as well as Furuya's. So really nice to have there. No Longer Human, I'm not too sure if Ito's version is better than Furuya's. I think Furuya still probably has a better take on um, Osamu Taizai's work, but nonetheless, this is really cool. Definitely very spooky, of course. This is, you know, Ito, very popular, very famous mangaka with the, in the horror genre. And um, honestly, I'm excited to get into a lot of his works. Uh, I know one of my good friends, super into horror. So obviously I'm, I'm not saying Ito is his favorite, but Jundito is definitely well known within the manga industry. So that is no longer human. Uh, I do also have Censor, which is which is actually one of his newest works. I did pick this up when it came out, but decided to hold off and sort of save it for the sort of Halloween themed, I guess, manga haul video. So Censor is actually a very nice volume. Now this looks crazy, creepy, messed up on the back cover. Did she wander in or was she drawn in? That is a good question. So I'm not gonna open too much about this volume, but seems interesting from Ito. And then next up I have some of Ito's very famous works, the ones that a lot of people know of from Ito. Uh, the first one being Gyo by Junjito. This obviously is in the hardcover editions from Viz Media. 
very interesting um once again i don't know much about ito in terms of how his works look but i tried picking up a lot of the more popular ones and if i like the ones that i have here i definitely will continue to pick up the rest of ito's works um as the months go on or as you know i am continuing picking up manga right so that is gyo um and then for the next release i do have from him is uzumaki probably one of his other famous ones that he does have himself probably could be one of his best ones i don't even know to be honest um let me know your favorite ito work down in the comments below and also maybe even let me know your favorite horror manga artist or manga ka um in the comments below if um you guys are interested in horror definitely i wouldn't say horror is my favorite genre but it's definitely i like to definitely diversify my collection and have multiple different genres to in a sense of you know make sure you know i'm accustomed to different types of works from different mangakas right and the other one i have is tomi tomi being one of his other more well-known one no use in escaping uh so this is a very popular one from ito and i definitely got a pretty good deal on these as well as uh, one of my buddies gave these volumes to me so very very cool there and then the last ito work i do have from him is fragments of horror now i heard some interesting stories about fragments of horror i'm not too sure if it's the best work from ito uh same with i believe dissolving classroom so if i like these works from ito that i have i might pick up dissolving classroom and whatever else i'm missing but uh, nonetheless the volume cover actually is very nice here i do love the sort of scream aspect here from that one famous uh painting or portrait um from i don't know the name of it but uh, I know it is very famous, and that is the back cover. It is a sort of like a slip case, very similar to Sensor, but that's pretty creepy in the front, front uh, sort of cover here. That's super creepy, but yeah, I'm excited for some Ito stuff. And the last sort of series that I picked up to sort of end off this haul video, but also end off a sort of Halloween themed um, manga video or manga haul video, whatever you guys call it, uh, we have School Zone. Now, School Zone is a very short series, it's three volumes. This is by Kanako Inuki. Uh, I picked this up literally on a whim. I know, like I said, one of my good my, my good friends, he's super into horror, and he actually said the series is pretty good. And I looked it up, and it seemed like a lot of good reviews on the series, and it seems like an interesting read. It is done by Dark Horse, so it is a lot of older series, but I got a good deal on it. Um, local seller, so I'm not really going to complain. Um, seems pretty interesting. The art seems pretty, pretty good as well. So definitely is going to be an awesome thing to read during this Halloween time, along with the other Ito works. That is volume one. Here is volume two. Very, very cool. Kind of gives me like, in a sense, Simpsons vibes. Like if I were, if Simpsons were a manga, this is what it would kind of look like when it comes to the cover and the way that these characters are drawn or obviously the way Simpsons characters look. So I don't know, maybe, I know, I know Simpsons, Simpsons has those, that Treehouse of Horror every Halloween, which I used to watch here and there once in a while on TV, but, and then finally here's volume th uh, volume three. I'm assuming this has to do with some something based in school, but uh, I am not 100% sure and, you know, specifically what the premise is of the story but yeah guys that is pretty much it that is the end of the haul video that is the end of pretty much the manga haul for this halloween edition themed video if you did enjoy the video definitely leave a like and a comment down below what is your favorite um halloween sort of themed or genre based manga let me know what you guys also picked up in the comments below um down in uh the, down in the comments sorry and uh definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel bringing a lot of haul videos a lot of unboxing videos are going to be coming up in the next little while on the channel so stay tuned i also have some topic videos and i'm so far liking sort of how i am sort of um designing or not designing but how i'm recording these videos now with the whole new formats so definitely let me know in the comments below if you guys like this as well but anyways guys take care have an awesome day and i will see you all in the next haul video take care, everybody